Hi everybody, good to be with you again. Just uh, to begin with today, just a bit of a shout out to all of our good people back at home. I know that many of you are grieving at the passing of our lovely friend Tulani. And uh, my prayer is with you, Billy is here as well. And we, we said that we can't be at home with you just to grieve alongside you. But uh, our hearts go out to you all and to the family and to Hope to Africa and uh, all the interns there, just a, a huge condolences to you. But I guess it sets beautifully the context of what I want to talk about right now. We're talking about breath prayers, aren't we? We're talking about those prayers that are spontaneous prayers that come, just a short line prayers, one line prayers. It's like one breath. And, and as we continue to pray these prayers time after time after time, just reflecting upon them, they change the way that we think. I want to encourage you folk back at home and to those who have ever understood the thing called grief. We've got to have a better theology on death. We've got to have a better theology on suffering. And in Psalm 63, which is the psalm that we're looking at at the moment, talking about breath prayers, verse 3 says, Because your love is better than life, my lips will praise you. My lips will glorify you. You see, we've got to understand what's really important in life. And sometimes we think that life is more important than love. Well, in many ways, from a human context, you could probably justify that thinking. But when we're talking about the love of God, there is nothing in life that is more important than the love of God. And that simply is because when life is gone, love continues. And I think of this in the context of Tulani and anybody who you've ever loved and lost, that when life is lost, love still remains. Love is consistent. God's love for us is not wane. It does not get stronger one minute and weaker the next. God's love for us is consistent and strong and all the time is absolutely the same. So Chad preached a good word at Tulani's uh, memorial youth group meeting the other night. And he spoke about being able to filter everything that happens to us through the word of God. We tend to filter everything that happens to us through our emotions and our feelings. And they're fickle. Fickle, they, they, they don't last. You can't really trust them. But when we, we see our feelings and the things that happen to us in our lives, and we filter those things through the Word of God, you know what? We see something completely different. When we look at death through our own human eyes, we see it as the end. When we see it through the Word of God, we see it as the beginning of something new and something that is fresh. When we see death, we, we as human beings see it as something that is morbid. But when you see death through the eyes of the Word of God, then all of a sudden death becomes not a threat to us, it becomes a glory to us. And this breath prayer that we're going to pray for today is the breath prayer that says, even when life is gone and love still continues to live on, that's good enough for me. So we look at great examples in Scripture, don't we? We see Daniel in the lion's den, and, and he could have saved his life. He could have just done what they said, and don't pray at your window, David, you know, just close the curtain. But Daniel knew that his love for God was more important than his own life and was more, was more than happy and content to go to the den of lions, knowing that this life is not all there is, knowing that this life is just a beginning, that this life is, is trivial compared to the love of God that will be with him forever. So today, people, our breath prayer is that when life is gone, love continues, that even when you you when that, that beautiful scriptures are repeated, because your love is better than life. You say death is better than life? I'm telling you it is, because God's love continues long after death has happened. Think about those thoughts today. Your loving kindness is better than life. Let's not make it the other way around. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.